there guys, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take you for a walk around the Neo NAMR. Shown here is a 7x16 with a silver frost front and a new blue rear. So let's take you for a walk around the trailer. We'll show you all the standard features. There are a few options added to the trailer. We'll show you those as we get a chance to walk around. So let's start out with those options. The aluminum wheels on this are not standard equipment, we do, but we do put them on all of our NAMRs. This gives it a nice appearance, certainly for a trailer of this caliber. Uh, most would expect aluminum wheels. And then also a kick plate around the bottom is standard equipment. On this, we've gone ahead to the, uh, the uh, white vinyl wall. And also standard height is going to be six foot. On this, we've gone ahead and gone to the six six. Let's go ahead and start back at the front. We'll take a walk around the rest of the trailer, show you all the standards. So two and five sixteenth inch coupler is standard. Of course, a 2,000 pound uh, setback jack. Fully sealed wire harness. It's got a seven pin RV style plug and your safety chains with breakaway cable. Now, one of the neat things we like about Neo is the integrated frame. You'll notice up front, it is a triple tube. It's also integrated. So instead of having a tongue and then a frame over top, everything integrates that does a few things one it ties in a lot more places which makes it a lot stronger it's also a lot more work to uh to do that's why very few do this neo's actually gone to a lot of automation to make this happen you know make it happen and possible for a reasonable amount of money similar to most other manufacturers in the industry that are not doing these details so another thing that makes this a really neat trailer it's a round top roof with a one piece extruded cove. So front to back, that's all extruded one piece. But it's also a V-nose. So a V-nose round top is very rare. But then a slant V-nose round top, v uh, yeah, V-nose round top slant is extremely rare. I don't know of many manufacturers doing anything like this. And it's also got the Neo name badging on the front. Very neat design, very well constructed. Normally I'd be almost afraid of a manufacturer doing uh, that kind of setup with the roof, but if you saw Neo's plan and the jig these are built on, it's very impressive. Other machining that they've got that a lot of times you won't see on other uh, manufacturers' trailers, the Stone Guard, uh, pretty pretty slick the way they do it. Again, the name badging up front there. Of course, you've got their Neo vinyl decal. You've got a LED light, it's a surface mount, along with a side flow through vent. So it's designed for cross ventilation front driver side top and then the uh, rear passenger side bottom basically your um, your air is going to cross ventilate through the trailer to bring fresh air in so if you've got uh, motorized equipment like most in a unit like this it'll uh, have fresh air in when you get to your destination so a couple other inherent benefits of the integrated frame if you look the frame picture frames of the trailer there's no trim at the bottom uh, gives it a nice clean appearance this way your frame is the trim and then all you've got down at the bottom is a nice clean J hook that finishes it out again very nice uh, finish quality if you look at some other manufacturers and see how they do it again most aren't going to do it quite like this this is an 030 aluminum exterior it's fully screwless seams are, uh, are epoxied of course aluminum fenders and then we've upgraded the aluminum wheels this is a five bolt wheel dexter axles it's got the newer style ford adjusting brakes if you're not familiar ford adjusting brakes just like an automotive are going to self-adjust in tension uh, throughout the life of the pad so they're always at the proper adjustment also behind the uh, center cap there uh, there's a easy lube hub which has a, a black cap in front of it so you can basically peel those off with a little flat bladed screwdriver and uh, basically service your own bearings. Uh, very simple to do. A homeowner with a flat bladed screwdriver and a grease gun can, uh, again, service your own bearings. No need for the old style um, bearing buddies anymore on these. So it's a 205-75 R15 load range C six ply radial tire. Standard equipment on these is the two-tone shown here. Again, that is, uh, it's actually cut into the aluminum. That's not uh, any sort of inlay or overlay or vinyl. Again, that's actually aluminum cut. Very, uh, very neat the way they do it. So let me actually show you the ramp. And I'm going to put it up because some of the key details of this ramp area are, are not shown now. So you got the grip tread runners going up the ramp. 
Neo also does an exterior, or I should say a side hinge called the Pro Flap. Makes it nice if you ever have anything, hand dollies, whatever, no hinge there to be in the way. Also, um, also uh, uh, slick for anything like a snowmobile or whatnot, keeps it from tearing up. So, what I want to show you specifically, Neo does a very neat latch. It's an NXP latch, it's stainless steel, it's not anything with zinc coating or whatnot. Gives it a nice clean appearance. You also notice the corner posts on these are all tubular aluminum. You've got your uh, thin strip LED clear lens. Also an aluminum grab handle, not a plastic. The hinges on this are, are superior to most. It doesn't have to have any sort of grease dirt. It's a Teflon hinge. Uh, no service needed to the uh, hinge mechanism. You'll notice there, again, it's all uh, Teflon. To latch this, very simple. It's about as secure of a latch, as easy as a latch you're gonna get. If you look, how tight of a seal that gets. If I can zoom in there on that. Very tight, very tight seal. Notice up at the top, nice tight miter. You also notice Neo does a great job. They do a mixture of MIG and TIG welds. Uh, very nice finish quality uh, on those welds. Again, Neo only does aluminum, if you notice, some manufacturers that do uh, aluminum and steel trailers, generally are ones that only do aluminum, gonna be a little bit higher finish quality. So this is also something that Neo came up with, very uh, very slick setup. Basically, you pull a pin, jack comes down to the ground. That's an all tubular jack. You'll notice the normal jacks are swivel style that come underneath. This is a lot nicer, heavier duty, simple to deploy. Actually, it's a good looking jack too. It actually integrates well into the design of the trailer so we do all of our NAMRs pretty much at 6.6 we do occasionally do some regular height so you can do it a couple ways you can put your thumb on it or you can take your palm just hit it very simple so again uh, the NXP ramp door standard equipment on this so we've upgraded to 6.6 height uh, the rear door header is normally about six inches on a steel trailer on this one, because of the round top roof design and the fact that it's a tubular header, uh, you cut that down about four inches. So you're gonna net about 6'2", 6'3", through the door on this 6'6", uh, six, six inside height trailer. Generally, it's gonna be enough to get an average UTV unless it's got extended height or, or upgraded suspension and tires, etc. So also standard equipment on this unit is gonna be the, uh, the uh, sport tie-down package. Kind of neat part about this package are your cross members on this uh, run perpendicular to the trailer. So each cross member, you're going to have tie downs uh, to each side and the center. Perfect setup for a two bike application. Uh, also, you know, certainly suitable for more than just two bikes, but uh, certainly staggered ideal for that. Also, a nice setup for a pair of quads or similar. Now, this unit's 16 foot. That's a square box measurement. Does not count as V nose. So from there forward, uh, you're going to get roughly three foot of length not included. So down the center, you're about 19 foot. A couple other little details, uh, the breakaway batteries contained inside. You also notice that there's a, uh, there's a cover for the wiring. So basically you got a junction box. All the wiring is up the nose and then around the cove on the exterior. Here's the inside of the uh, slant V-nose. Like I said, pretty neat the way they set these up. The, the jig that these are built on is very complicated, but uh, very effective for all the different sizes and styles that are built. So the, the door is an RV style door, a little bit nicer setup. Uh, basically, you've got uh, two locks. You can lock a deadbolt or you can lock a paddle lock. Uh, it is a foam filled door. Notice it is uh, white to match the color of the walls. Two dome lights with a wall switch. Wall switch makes it nice as you enter the door, you can flip it on. You've got dome lights at the front and rear. So again, we have upgraded uh, the walls to the white vinyl. If you're gonna attach anything to the walls, we recommend certainly hitting one of the wall studs. Very easy to find. Simply trace the vertical on the wall. You'll notice that is a four foot panel. So two sets of screws in between each one. It's a 16 inch on center wall spacing. Now the walls and the ceiling are all made out of tube little details uh, this is also a 16 inch on center roof with a one piece aluminum roof you'll notice that the uh, roof bows here again are not only two but they've got a foam gasket uh, between the roof and the bows 
keep sending vibration and noise down. Um, so you don't have to worry about electrolysis on this because again, the roof and the bows are all aluminum that cuts the, uh, cuts the noise down, makes a nice finished job. Again, there's the inside of the uh, wall vent. So again, we're gonna cross ventilate from there down to the rear on the side. So as I said earlier, the, uh, the headers on these are all tube, so going up the verticals and then across. Let me show you, again, a close up, some of the welds on these. Very clean. Uh, you won't generally find that type of quality on a manufacturer that's also building uh, steel trailers. So two wheel chocks are standard equipment. They are loose, they're very simple to install. Generally we recommend doing that at home. If a customer wants to mark them, we'll certainly be happy to put them in. But uh, they are loose so you can get them where you need for your application. Also uh, eight tie downs or standard equipment on a tandem axle up front. So let me show you underneath the trailer. Neo uses a little bit uh, heavier floor cross members than most in the industry. Also show you that A-frame. Notice how everything ties together into that A-frame. These cross members are also a two by three tube, uh, not a one by two or a two by two as we sometimes see. Certainly a nice heavy duty floor setup. So this unit's gonna weigh in at about 1800 pounds empty. It's gonna give a net legal payload of about 5,200 pounds plus your tongue weight. This unit is offered in other sizes. Seven by 14 is our most common. Also sell quite a few of the seven by 12s. You can actually get it as long as a 20 foot if you need something longer. It's also available in a seven and a half foot wide. Generally, we would consider that more of a UTV type model. Every once in a while, you do get a, a motorcycle customer that does want uh, the extra width, but generally, this is gonna be more than enough for a pair of bikes or potentially even a third bike. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.